Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about the little details of Grand Theft Auto Online, some tips, tricks, and just things you might not have known about. I always think these videos are super cool because it helps you learn something new, and even if it's only one or two things from the handful of topics we're going to touch on today, it also just shows the amazing power of Grand Theft Auto 5. Like, you, we've had this game for almost five years now, and I'm still figuring out things that I've never known before, which I always think is pretty cool. Anyways, let's dive into this. Have you ever wondered what type of missile the Avenger fires? Well, it turns out Rockstar got a little bit lazy with that. So instead of giving the Avenger its own missile, it actually fires the same one that the Oppressor does which I thought was quite interesting. Now, we're also going to see another example of this later on, but I didn't know that. I thought the Avenger for sure had its own style of missile, but it's the same one that apparently comes out of the Oppressor bike. Now, likewise, something that's kind of awkward with the Kanjali, even if you have the railgun attachment, you still fire out an RPG. What the heck, Rockstar? What's the point of having a railgun if we still just fire an RPG? I think that's a little bit random, I'm not sure why they didn't take the extra time to do something like that. I mean, we have the railgun in single player. Why couldn't they have just used that round for online? I'm really not too sure. So a couple doomsday heist vehicles that have some very weird projectiles that are shot out of them. All right, moving on. The next thing I never knew about was the cargo bob's ability to pick random things up. And when I mean random, I really mean random. Whether it's plants, porta potties, you know, fence posts, you can literally pick up the weirdest things. Now, we mostly associate the cargo bobs with vehicles, but like I said, you can pick up porta potties, or I guess portable toilets, I guess they might call them somewhere in the world, you know, plants, weird things. Uh, you can also pick up police cars. Now, that isn't something out of the ordinary, but what's funny is you can sort of drop them in the ocean. And as soon as you drop them in the ocean, you'll instantly lose your wanted level or they won't have the ability to find you, which I think is quite funny. So if you wanted to have a blast with the cargo bob, you could almost pick up things and use them as like a big wrecking ball. So try this out. Have some fun if you own the cargo bob. Go up to somewhere like Blaine County or Polito Bay and, and see what random items you can just pick up with. Uh, it's really a lot of fun. All right, something I've never known before. If you actually go to Ron Alternate's wind farm, there's actually one windmill that has a scaffolding next to it that you can actually climb up on top of. I thought that was pretty cool, and I had no idea that was a thing. I thought that all of these windmills didn't have anything next to them. Apparently, this one does, and you can climb the ladder all the way to the top. It actually gives you a pretty cool vantage point for sniping other players or just taking a cool snapmatic photo, something I never knew. I always thought I had to jump out of a helicopter and parachute to land on something like that, but apparently you can just climb on that one. Something funny about the Go Postal van, you'll see these in online. What's kind of funny is it actually has a circle with a P. So typically you would see real life companies have a C for copyright or R for registered, but this one is P for postal. Again, it just shows you the level of detail that Rockstar has when it goes into designing the vehicles in this game. So again, that literally changes absolutely nothing, but I think that little detail is quite cool. Something else that's kind of interesting, if you call the mechanic, but actually don't choose a vehicle, he'll actually give you some weird commentary. So it will take a little bit for him to speak, but he'll say something like, are you still there? Do you still need a ride? It's really weird. And you would never think you would hear this because most normal people call the mechanic take five to 10 seconds figuring out where their vehicle is and they call it in. But if you just like leave him on the phone, it gets kind of awkward. He'll say like weird, interesting things like, uh, are you still here? Do you still need a car? It's really funny, almost like reminding you, did you forget what you're doing? So definitely try that out for yourself. Give the mechanic a ring, but then don't answer. He'll say some weird stuff to you. So there's a couple vehicles in game like the Roosevelt and the Roosevelt Valor where players can actually hang on the outside. One interesting fact about this, even if you're in passive mode, your character will pull out a gun and hold on to it. Now you can't fire the weapon, but it is still pretty cool. That's one of the few ways in which you can be in passive mode, but still technically have a weapon out. So I thought that that was pretty neat. I'm sure there's a handful of other vehicles that you can do that but the Roosevelt's probably the most popular option. So you guys know that main hospital in sort of downtown Los Santos where a lot of helicopters spawn? Well, on the roof, it looks like one of the paramedics made a huge mess. 
Look at this like blood splatter or mess or something like that. It seems the paramedics were not very careful when carrying their patient to the hospital door as they are just left, you know, splatters of this fluid, whatever it is, on the way to the door. And you can kind of see it gets lighter and lighter as they get towards those uh, yellow checkered patterns getting closer to the inside of the hospital. I thought that was a nice little touch by Rockstar, and man, those paramedics were not careful at all. Speaking of helicopters, if you're inside of your office garage and there's a helicopter on the building on top of you, you can actually see the helicopter's blades spinning from the inside of the office garage. I'm not sure what makes that happen. Probably something to do with the reflections you see in game, which are not Rockstar's strong suit, but I did think that was pretty interesting. You look down at your garage floor and you see a helicopter blade spinning. I thought that was pretty funny. Okay, as I'm sure you guys know by now, you can actually pass out if you drink too much, like if you have too much wine or whiskey or whatever the case is from your apartment. But did you know the same thing will happen to you if you take too many hits from the bong? So I think it's 15 total hits from the bong will actually make you go to the hospital or it'll spawn you in like a different side of your apartment. Like you just blacked out or greened out, I should say, for a second. So I, I've never actually tried that before because typically after two or three hits, you're like really fuzzy and that doesn't go away for a long time. But if you actually do 15 of these hits, it'll totally knock you out which is definitely something you might want to try. All right, I saw this on the Grand Theft Auto Online Reddit. It looks like Rockstar made one of the NPCs in the game look like Dwayne The Rock Johnson in one of like the most famous photos of him, where he's wearing like a turtleneck and a fanny pack, uh, and he's got sort of an interesting haircut and a gold chain on his neck. I mean, that NPC looks identical which is obviously really funny. The only thing the NPC is missing is the fanny pack, and I wish we could get funny accessories like that that our characters could wear. All right, and the final thing I'm gonna be talking to you guys about today is the Ruiner 2000. If you turn the radio off and you sit inside, you'll actually notice it'll make a pretty interesting sound. Now, the sound it's making is actually replicating Kit, the Knight Rider car, its scanner. So it has kind of a special sound you hear, and it's trying to sound similar to Kit's scanner, which is a nice little feature of this car. This car has a ton of little you know, quirks and cool features, so I am a fan of the Ruiner 2000, even if it's kind of been outclassed recently by some of the other weaponized vehicles. But anyways, that right there is all the information I've got for you guys in this video today. That is a couple of things you might not have known about in Grand Theft Auto Online, some tips, tricks, cool features, details, and a whole lot more. Let me know in the comments down below, do you have any other things you think would be cool for me to feature in a future video? Let me know down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.